there. What? What's up, my end subs? Welcome to my channel. So today, if you can tell from the title and the thumbnail of this video, today's video is sponsored by Treats. So I've done videos about these guys before. Uh, they're a pretty cool company. They are a snack box monthly subscription that you can get, and they deliver snacks to you from around the world. This is the third box they've sent me, and I've enjoyed the other ones I've received so far, so I'm very excited to open this one. If you would like to try a box of your own, go ahead and click that link in my description. Use the coupon code NotSoAverageFangirl, and you'll get 15% off of your first box. Alright, now let's see what kind of treats this box brings. Oh, wow! Alright, yo, this one brings some really cool stuff. So it says that this box has treats from Serbia and Croatia. That's freaking cool! I really don't think I've had that many snacks and treats from uh, Serbia or Croatia, so this is gonna be very interesting. Again, as always, it comes with all these great little fact cards and gives you a little bit of knowledge of the area that these treats come from, as well as like some home recipes you could do. That's pretty cool! Check that out! Look how dope that is! See, those are the little touches that I really like about this company. And, of course, it brings the list of everything that is in this box, as well as a description as to what each item is. So, let's get started. Now, the question is, which one do I want to start with? There is something on this list that I think I want to save for last. I always try to save something interesting for last. And I think today that's going to be this. This is called Bananco. It says it's a banana-shaped chocolate-covered candy bar with a banana-flavored foam center. Interesting. It says it is a staple candy bar in Serbia and Croatia. I've never heard of these. It sounds very fascinating, especially the banana foam part on the inside. So I'm definitely gonna leave this for last because this to me seems like the most interesting thing to try. First, we are going to try, there's actually, now that I'm like reading over this list, there's a lot of specifically hazelnut chocolate treats in this box. So I'm gonna try and space those out with a little bit of salty snacks that it brings. So let's see, I think, you know what? Let's just go big, right? We're just gonna go big or go home. We're gonna start with this big, pack of hazelnut wafers. Boom! Popping open the first wafer. Whoa, is it one giant bar? <gasps> oh my gosh, I thought it was like individual rectangles, like the way we have wafers here. <gasps> I was wrong. Holy crap. No way is this one big thing. There's no way. Oh. Oh, it's not. I'm just, I didn't see the lines that were separating them. I was gonna say, I thought this was like one large wafer. No, I'm just kidding. It's it's individual ones. All right. Ooh, initial smell. Base, very hazelnutty. I think I inhaled some of the flakes into my actual nostril passage. Um, but I'm good. So here we go. Uh, let's try this crunch test, shall we? Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, that's delicate. Mmm. That is soft delicate. The wafer is very airy. And the hazelnut flavor is actually really nice. It's like kind of subtle but also not completely gone either. Yeah. That's a thumbs up. For sure. Alright, so I know that one was a chocolate uh, treat, but there's only so few uh, other items in this box that isn't chocolate. So, I think I'm gonna have to do another chocolate, but let's do this little guy. This is called Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom is a chocolate mascot on a stick. What? Sculpted in the shape and appearance of an animal, there are five possible mascots. A bear, bunny, cat, dog, and elephant. And you don't know which one you're gonna get until you open the pack. Cool! So let's see which one I get. <gasps> oh, it brings a little koala! It's a new koala sticker! Oh, oh, how freaking cute is that? I love koala bears, they're so cute. I think the size is pretty, like, nice because it... <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, wait, so is the character inside? Wait a minute. Sculpted in the shape and appearance of an animal, there are five possible mascots. Is it inside or was this the mascot? I don't think it was. Is, is there something in the chocolate? I don't see anything on a stick. <laughs> It's just a chocolate bar, so I'm not sure if there was supposed to be something within the bar. It's just chocolate, so... What goes that? Mmm, it's good chocolate. Very good chocolate. Mmm, I would finish that. I'm gonna give that a solid thumbs up. Although I am disappointed, I was expecting to find an animal on a stick, like it said. Unless it's referring to the koala, which wasn't an option. So that's why I'm not completely sure. And it said that the animal would be, like, sculpted. It would be sculpted in that shape. So I don't know. I don't know what happened, but this was just a chocolate bar. It was delicious. I love the chocolate. I'm gonna eat that later. But for now, let's jump into another one. Okay, let's switch it up to give a break from the chocolate a little bit. These are called Smoky? Yeah, Smoky by Stark. These are crunchy peanut-shaped, like, puffs. And it's funny because the last box actually had some peanut-shaped puffs. Bleh. P 
peanut shaped puffs like this, but it was from Germany. So let's see how these compare to those German ones. Smells like peanuts. They look about the same as well. Let's see like if the flavor is more prominent or if it's just a different experience altogether. Mmm. Okay. This one has more of like a roasted peanut taste. Whereas the Germany one, it tasted like you were just eating like a regular peanut. Like it legit just tasted like fresh peanut. This one tastes like they've been roasted. So I do like the difference. There is a difference in my opinion, but it's a pretty good peanut snack. If you like peanuts, uh, it doesn't taste like peanut butter. It definitely tastes like peanuts, like a roasted peanut. I wanna give that a thumbs up. All right, we're gonna go back to chocolate now. Let's see, which one should we? Ooh, let's do this one. Keston Chestnut by Pioneer. <laughs> Pretty sure that's Pioneer. I apologize if I like just completely slaughter any of these names. This chocolate bar, oh, it's right here. Aha, This chocolate bar is a spectacular dessert made with a combination of quality milk chocolate and whole chestnuts for a perfectly sweet and unique treat. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I've actually eaten anything with chestnut in it, especially a chocolate bar. So this will be nice, uh, a nice um, experience, hopefully. I'm not allergic to chestnuts, am I? Guess we're about to find out. No, I don't think I am. <laughs> I, I wouldn't play around with that. I, I really don't think I am. No. Mmm. Not what I was expecting. It's got like a... It's like a textured inside and um, I'm actually not a fan. I didn't like that one. I don't know if it's, if it's because I'm not a chestnut fan. I was expecting like, kind of like the uh, Hershey bars that have almond or anything with peanuts where you get the crunch of the actual nut. I was expecting pieces of chestnut mixed in with the chocolate and you can bite it and you get the crunch of the nut. That wasn't the case here and I actually kind of don't like the taste of it. So unfortunately for that one, this is actually probably my first or second ever time. No, it's my first time I'm ever gonna give something from one of these boxes a thumbs down. Ooh, I'm so so sorry, the chestnut bar did not do it for me. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm actually gonna wash my mouth out with that one. Let's uh, replace it with a different chocolate, shall we? This bar is actually very intriguing to me. This one just looks really cool. If you look at the picture of it, it's just like a layered bar and it's hazelnut and I like hazelnut. So yeah, this should be good. This one is called Euro Creme Block by Takovo, <laughs> uh, probably killed that one. Two pieces of hazelnut chocolate mixed with milk hazelnut cream. Ooh, smooth in texture and delicious in taste. Oh, it's like having a hazelnut chocolate spread into a bar. So it's probably like a Nutella bar, right? Is that what I'm getting at here? This should be good then because I love Nutella. Oh yeah, it's all soft, bro. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, it smells like hazelnut. Wow. That is all cream. It's literally exactly what it said, like a spread in a bar. Again, surprisingly, not as good as I thought it was gonna be though. I actually didn't enjoy that too much. Um, It's not horrible though. Like if I had to pick between this and the chestnut thing I just had, I would definitely pick this. But it wasn't what I was expecting and it wasn't, it just wasn't actually as good as I thought it would be. I'm, this is top this box, man. It's not doing it for me. I'm gonna give this one a mid thumb. The last one was a thumbs down. This one doesn't deserve a thumbs down. It's not horrible but I probably won't eat the rest of that, you know what I mean? Let's switch it to some pretzel sticks! Let's see, these are called Prima Pretzel Sticks by Stark. Again, I think the German box also had pretzel sticks, so it looks like they have a lot of like traditional snacks in common. Um, ooh, it smells like pretzels. Oh, this is a little different than the German ones though. The texture's different, the coloring is different. These feel softer on the outside, the other, the German ones felt rough. Let's see if I can capture that crunch. It's just like a pretzel stick. Not bad. It's a nice change after all the chocolate, I'll be honest. That's a good pretzel snack, guys. I'm gonna give that a solid thumbs up, for sure. No hesitation. Mm. All right, next up are these little ones. These are called Eugenia Original by Dobrogia, or Dobrogia. Not sure how it's pronounced. I apologize. <laughs> it's a delicious biscuit filled with sweet chocolate cream, making it a perfect cookie to enjoy for any time of the day. Ooh, so it's a cookie filled with chocolate cream. That does sound really, ooh. Oh, they kind of look like Milano's a little bit. Look at that. It's like a, a thicker Milano. You know what those Milano cookies look like? That's kind of what it reminds me of. It's definitely got a lot of chocolate. I'm a little scared, to be honest, just because the other ones haven't been tasting like I would think they'd get, they're gonna taste. So I'm a little nervous for this to taste 
good. Let's find out. Yeah, um. Just gonna, just gonna put that back in there. Definitely was not what I was expecting. I'll be honest, the biscuit part is very good. However, the chocolate, that's where my issue is. There is a weird, I don't know if it's if it's intended to be like a chemical taste to it, but there's a weird taste with that chocolate. Very artificially, and I, I didn't like it. That's gonna be my second thumbs down, guys. Wow, this box, usually these boxes, I give everything a thumbs up. This box is hurting. We've got two thumbs down and a mid thumb so far. I don't know what's going on, man, but now I'm kind of even more nervous to try that banana one because I thought that was gonna be really good. I hope it still is. I think I've seen these before. I'm pretty sure this is gonna taste really good. It's like uh, it's chocolate with the pieces of biscuit on the inside So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be good. Let's see what it's called uh, Dorian chocolate. Oh, no Dorina chocolate by Kraft. Dorina is among the favorite of chocolate lovers in Serbia and Croatia All right, so if that's the case, this is pretty hyped up. They spoke very highly of it just now So I'm uh, I'm excited for this one. I think it will be pretty good. Let's see if it lives up to the hype, huh? Oh, see, yeah, it smells like good chocolate. So you know how, like, you could tell right away if a chocolate's gonna be good or not when you smell it? You can smell if it has, like, a plasticky, fake, artificial chocolate taste to it, or smell to it. You can kind of imagine that's how it's gonna taste. This smells like really good chocolate. Let's see. You see the pieces of the biscuit in there. I like, I like the crunch and the added textures to a chocolate bar. I, I always appreciate that. Yeah, see this? Now that's really good. That is some good chocolate. I love the crunch of the biscuit on the inside. Little pieces of it, just enough. That's what I'm talking about. Mmm! That's the chocolate I'm talking about! Thumbs up! That's an aggressive thumbs up. That's how good that was. Mmm! Alright, now we're down to two treats left. We've got these fruit candies called Tutti Fruity. Actually, it's called Kiki by Kraz. I guess the flavor is just Tutti Fruity. They're fruit flavored toffee candies that are soft, chewy in texture and packed with vitamins. Oh, that's cool. Each piece depicts the flavor of the candy inside a flavorful fruit taste with each bite. Sweet. I love a good fruit candy, especially like fruit chews. Like I'm a, I'm a high chew fan for sure. I'm gonna grab one of the strawberry ones because strawberry is my favorite flavor. So let's see. Uh, they come like cute individually packed. They kind of like look like ooh, like Starburst shape uh, here in America. But uh, let's see if their flavors are better. I wonder if they have a smell. A little. Very faint. Oh, I can almost get it in my mouth. Let's see some. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not even waiting. Thumbs up. I really enjoy candies like this. It is soft and chewy, and the flavor is actually very nice. It doesn't taste like a super chemical, artificial strawberry flavor. I enjoyed these a lot. That is really good. That also made up for the other thumbs downs. <laughs> All right, guys, drum roll, because last but not least, we have the Bananco. Boom. Really intrigued now to see what this is gonna be like. You know, this box had some hit or miss uh, options, and oh, wow. I actually think I dropped some, hold on. Well, when you first open, it looks like a chocolate-covered banana. I can smell the banana in the chocolate. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it anymore. I was very excited. Now I'm a little nervous. If I'm being completely honest. Oh, uh, because I'm just, you know what it is, I'm just not a fan of stuff that tastes super artificial. I'm really not. And this thing is definitely smelling like artificial. Oh, both the chocolate and the banana, okay. Um, here we go, guys. Um, it is nice knowing all of you. You guys have been the greatest fans. Um, just in case anything happens after this bite, um, I just want you to know that I love you, all, every single one of you. I also would like to thank my mom, my family, my dad, my dogs, Bella, I love you, Ollie, my little potato, my furry, furry potato. It's been a ride. And now today, I will try a bananco. I'm just hesitating, to be honest. I'm stalling because I <laughs> Okay, ready? We're just gonna do it on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, I want to it. So that was an experience. Yeah, definitely will not be eating the rest of this. Um, the, I will say the foam on the inside definitely tastes like banana. Very rich artificial banana flavor for sure. The chocolate is not, 
that good. Like if it was this kind of chocolate from this bar that I just tried, maybe it would have saved it. But no, um, great idea. I feel like the execution could be worked on a bit. So unfortunately, this is gonna be the third thumbs down that I give this box. Man, that's crazy. I was not expecting this box to go the way it did. But man, I'll be honest though, I still love the experience and I absolutely love Treats for always sending me these amazing boxes. So thank you so much, Treats. You guys are the best. I always look forward to these boxes and it's been really cool to taste things from around the world. Who knows if I'll ever even get a chance to go to these countries and try these snacks. So, you know, I like the opportunity that uh, Treats gives to people with this option. So again, guys, if you would like to get a box and try for yourself, I highly recommend it. This is a lot of fun to do. Go ahead and click that link in my description, guys. Use the coupon code NotSoAverageFangirl and you'll get 15% off of your first box. It's a blast. It really is. And I, and I hope, hey, maybe I'll get to try another one next month. That'd be fantastic. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Go ahead and check me out on my social media accounts where I post art and other cool stuff. If you want to see the full versions of the reaction videos I post, you can check out the Patreon link that's also in the description. I thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye!